Hola, privet, or hello. This is the team bus for Russian pro continental squad Gazprom Rus Velo. It's a bus we've never been inside before, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Let's take a look. All right. Now, there's a real spacious feel straight away to this bus. We've got lots of space, obviously lots of storage. We'll talk about the storage in a minute. Front facing seats, full leather. So we've got spaces for eight and nine and the driver. So that's the full team for the Grand Tour and the driver in transit. And obviously when the bus is parked up, they can sit and move around the bus quite freely. But as I say, real sort of sense of space in this bus. Quite simple too, but let's have a look at the storage and what's on board. Straight away, we've got the hats for the podium. We've got a selection of baseball caps. Very nice indeed, classic blue. I, like, I do like the color scheme of Gazprom Rossfellow and caps. Is it gonna be caps or hats? I'm afraid, I'm old school. It's gonna be capelinos for the rest of this. Just put those on top. We've got various kind of products in here. So we've got recuperation kind of powders, amino acids, that sort of stuff, sort of vitamin tablets straight away. Moving across the top, caps, hats, lots and lots of musettes. Really nice. These will be used obviously at the feed zone. Plenty of those in store. Now this here is the classic caffeine finale flask. So you stick that in your back pocket, you might get it in your uh, musette halfway into the race. Last 15 or 20 kilometers, that will give you a little caffeine boost near the end. And that's from uh, one of the sponsors of the team, Dion. So the classic, I've not seen it in this form for a long, long time. A lot of uh, massage products here. Now they're sponsored by Elite. So we've got neutral massage gel. Johnson's baby, baby oil here, lots of other massage gels. Chamois cream, really, really important, especially for the bad weather, which you generally get a lot of in the Giro d'Italia. So lots of stuff here. We've looked at the front portion. Let's have a look at the midsection of the bus, the communal area. Now, two leather sofas, side facing. Now there's enough here. Again, there are seat belts here as well, but generally speaking, as I said, in transit, riders will sit towards the front, now into the heart of the bus. One two, and if you just spin the camera around, three televisions, so the riders can watch themselves on the TV, perhaps even link the TVs up to GCN, who knows, but they can also watch their favorite Russian TV shows because the whole of the team is Russian. Now, you've got all your DVDs, your satellite setups in there, lots of remote controls, and next up is the kitchen. Everything you'd expect in this particular kitchen here, nice, a lot of work surface for the swan years to work on, little wash basin, cooker, we've got a microwave as well, kettle. Now, we've got this little deep fryer, or it's a cooker, so basically the swan year can rustle up anything they need after the race, and just gives a little bit of added variety in terms of food, especially when there's a bit of a transfer from the end of the stage to the hotel. Vitally important, of course, that the riders get that nutrition in, in that golden hour after the stage. So let's have a little look at some of the supplies we've got here. Water under there, your usual cleaning products. Um, well, what can I say? It wouldn't be a protein bus without a coffee machine. Glad to see that Gazprom Rosfello have got them as well. Uh, not surprised at all. And this model is a classic DeLonghi, of which I've got one at home too. Now, freezer. Let's have a look what's in here. Ah, let's have a closer look. These are little brioches imported from Italy. And I understand from, again, from speaking to the staff, they are the absolute rider's favorite. These are used in the musettes for the race feed. You'll put little bits of cream cheese, jam, even ham in those, and the riders absolutely love them. And this will be topped up throughout the Giro. So frozen for fresh. Have a look in the fridge. Now, this is definitely a bit of a mix. Not only riders food in here, but there'll be uh, food for the swan years, mechanics, and of course the bus driver who spends long, long hours. We've got, it's just classically Italian. Formaggio fresco. I say Italian, this is Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt there. Nice to mix with fruit. We've got some ricotta. I do like a bit of ricotta. This is absolutely jam packed with food. I love it. What else have we got here? Salmon. Oh, nice bit of smoked salmon. That's nice with a bit of pasta. Nice with a bit of salad as well. Actually, it's very nice with cream cheese rolled up in a bun for the race feed. What else have we got in here? So let's have a little look. We've got uh, lots of different sorts of milks, almond milk, soya milk. Uh, a lot of riders prefer to steer away from dairy products if they can. Uh, and then backed up with a lot of different sorts of cooked hams and meats, just to add a bit of a variety. And again, this is 
completely fully stocked. So in the door here, pesto. I mean, you can't have pasta in Italy without pesto. So I've no doubt in the various supermarkets throughout the, this grand tour, they'll be topped up. So really fully stocked fridge there. I can hardly even shut the door, it's so heavy. So great to see. Now, moving on to the other side, we have the lavatoire, the WC. And not too much to see in here, if I can open the door. It's a pretty standard fare. We've got two showers, back to back. Again, very simple, very neat, actually quite spacious, but obviously two showers can be taken at once in this bus. Nice little loofer in there as well. Get rid of that grime, especially on those very dirty stages. And finally, we'll head into the back of the bus where all the cool kids hang out. Well, me. So here we go. This is full of various sorts of supplies. We understand that uh, the team truck hasn't yet arrived, so the bus is being used not only to transport riders and look after riders before the stages and after the stages, but actually to hold a lot of supplies. So we've got a real variation of stuff. We've got disposable plates, we've got spare leisure wear, we've got podium bags, we've got cooking stuff, we've even got some aero helmets. And these are brand new, and this is by Casco. It's an Italian brand that sponsor the squad, and this is the aero helmet. That's a lovely little uh, visor cover there. Look at that, fully reflective. Mesh on the top, but fully aerodynamic. A series of those in a nice bespoke case as well. Moving around, lots of spare caps, and generally just supplies. So there you have it. That was the Gazprom Russ Velo team bus tour. I wonder if they'll give me this cap. Now, if this has really whetted your appetite for pro bus tours, how about clicking just up here for our pro bus tour playlist? And for all things Giro d'Italia, how about clicking just down here for our Giro d'Italia playlist? And to subscribe to GCN, click on the red globe.